Welcome back to Help Desk Live. I'm Brian Baisden. Today we've got a special guest in the studio with us. It's Daryl Taylor. He's going to explain to us about time management. This is important for students to understand because time management is the most essential part of our everyday lives here at Southern. It's going to be a great show, so you guys stay tuned. to introduce to you today our special guest. It's Daryl Taylor, the Dean of Student Development. Daryl, nice to be with you today. Uh, likewise, thank you for having me on. It's, uh, it's just been an honor and a privilege being able to work with you this semester for, for this show. And um, today we're going to talk about some time management and uh, how students should go about delegating their time. So explain to us about, you know, the overall view of this. Um, Time management is one of the, the topics that we cover in our basic orientation class that all students have to have um, when they're getting started here at Southern. Uh, the, the concept of time management, though, Brian, is kind of a misnomer. You, you really can't manage time. Uh, right. Time continues to tick <laughs> right. one second after the other, and there's no changing that. Even if you set your watch back, uh, you're truly not managing time. Uh, but really what we're talking about is a concept of being more um, efficient, more effective in, in our personal organization. And that's what I'm going to talk about mostly today, is how to be more organized, more effective, and get the things done that you want to achieve in a timely fashion. So my, uh, I'll just tell you about myself as a student. I'm a horrible time manager. I really am. I run late. I can't. It, I, it always seems like I'm falling behind. So can you give me some pointers how I could be better at that and be able to manage my time more wisely and just help, help myself be a better and a more effective student? Sure, absolutely. And what I like to do is to start this um, at what I call the macro level, really large. And I encourage students to, to, to take a large look at the beginning of the semester at everything that they have to do. You know, you have different roles in your life. For example, and, and we at Southern think, most importantly, you're a student. And that, you know, there's a lot of things that you're going to have to do as a student. But many of our students are also employed. Uh, their husbands and wives, their, their fathers and mothers, and uh, all, all of these different roles. And it's kind of good to get an idea of all of the things that you have going on in your life so that when you're planning your time, um, you don't leave something important out. So one of the very first things you can do is really define the roles in your life. Next, and before the semester, we, we encourage students to take a look at the syllabus for each class and go through and write all your important stuff down on a calendar. If you don't have a calendar yet, you really need to have some form of a calendar. It can just be paper and pencil and you, you draw your calendar on there or you know, you're just writing dates down and stuff underneath. Or it can be something uh, more like uh, what we have here you know, a, a very basic calendar that you can slide into a notebook. Like a day planner. A day such. planner type of thing. We provide students with day planners at the beginning of the, of the semester. We plan to do that again in the fall. Uh, but it needs to be at arm's length. You, you need to be able to reach it when you need to write something down that's date specific. So at the beginning of the semester, you know that you have that term paper due at the end of the semester. It's good to write down at the beginning of the semester. Follow, go over to the end on the date that it's due and write down, you know, this paper's due today. And then I encourage students to go back a couple uh, weeks and say, paper's due in two weeks on, on, you know, another day. And then go back again, maybe two weeks and say, one month before the paper is due. And that keeps the paper in our consciousness so that we don't forget about it. And then the day before the paper's due, 
we, we have a time management issue <laughs> because you don't right. have enough time to do that. Hey guys, it's Brian Bazden. I'm currently taking a break from filming our newest episode, but I want you guys to stay tuned with us. We got much more on time management coming up in part two. Click on over to the next one and watch the next segment. Till then, we'll see you later.